Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically at how we can pay for college and the earning levels that we can look forward to because of college, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So there are many ways to pay for college. Everyone says you need to go to college after high school. So how are some uh, different ways and how effective are they to pay for college? Well, one of the first things that you need to think of is savings. This is your money. You are getting money for birthday, for Christmas. Once you uh, turn 16, you might go out and look for a job. This is your money. And so it might be good for you to put some of your money aside and pay for college rather than spending every available cent on V-Bucks so you can get the most recent Fortnite skin. Second, the federal government will sometimes give you a grant. Now, in order to qualify for this grant, uh, when you get close to going to college, you have to fill out something called a FAFSA. It's free. It's online. It's, it's um, something that the federal government looks at to see how much you qualify for. But a grant is just money that the government will give you, and you don't have to pay it back, and they give it to you for going to college. So whenever you can get a grant, that is great. Another thing that works well is scholarships. Scholarships kind of work like grants, but it's someone else's money. Sometimes it is the result of a, an application that you put in for a group or an organization. It could be the college itself, but they're giving you money to go to college. You don't have to pay that back. Another option is work study. This is a program to where you might work a part-time job while going to college, and that money would go towards paying for college. All of these are great options because you don't have to pay them back. Then there's the one option that you do have to pay back. This is also from the federal government. These are student loans. And these are the easiest to get, but you have to pay them back. And so many students graduate college with tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loans that it's going to take forever to pay back. So this is an option, but be careful. Well, let's see how much money you might earn because of going to college and whether you'd have the money to pay back those student loans. How much is a college education worth? Well, let's see how much we have to make to make, pay back all of our student loans. If you drop out of high school, that means you don't finish your four years of high school, you can expect to make about $25,000 a year. So if you work for 40 years, your lifetime salary will be over a million dollars. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to be a millionaire because a lot of that money will have been spent every year for food and clothing. If you get a high school diploma, you automatically get a $10,000 a year bump. We're up to $35,000. So that's why finishing high school is so important. That gets you started on the road to life. Associates is two years of college. And typically it's going to be done at a community college, which those are cheaper than your regular colleges anyways. And that's going to get you $41,000 a year. And so our lifetime Earnings is going to be $1.6 million. That's pretty good. Now, a bachelor's, that's four years of college, and those are at larger universities. That is going to get you $59,000 a year. Now, take a look. We've already doubled our high school diploma. You've already doubled what you're earning just by going to college for four years every single year. So you can see your lifetime earnings is going to be much more. Now, once we get past bachelor's, then it gets a little bit more technical. This is an extra one to two years as a master's degree, but that's going to get you an extra $10,000 a year. So now we're at $69,000 a year, and we're up $2.789 million for lifetime earning. Now, your doctorate is an extra three, uh, sometimes even four years after you get your master's degree, and that's going to give you a big bump, $84,000. So your lifetime earning is going to be $3.375 million. You should have noticed that the doctorate was not the highest paid degree. It's actually this professional degree. It gets you almost $90,000 a year. So what are professional degrees? Well, there's many of them. One of them might be an MD if you want to become a doctor. One of them might be a JD if you want to become a lawyer. But that's how you get the most money. 